Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great night tonight. Tonight, I wanna to show you how to make a group inside the new Gmail. So they've changed a little bit how you go about it, have some things called a little differently. So why do you want a group? It's just so if you compose a message, you can write um, a group's name and then all the people that you've added to the group, you can send it to them with just writing the one thing, it can save you a lot of time. So to do this, go up to your app launcher, Google app launcher up the top, and what you're looking for is contacts. So if I scroll down the contacts, you'll see it down here. If you don't want any of your apps or you can move them around. So in this case, if I knew I was gonna use contacts lots, just drag it up into a situation where you want it. So maybe I want this right up to the top over here and I can leave it there. So I'm gonna go open up my contacts here. So I've just put in a few different uh, example names here to make a, a group, but it's not called a group anymore. We're gonna call it a label. You can see over on the side, and just a note, this is a new uh, contacts too. You can see how I can switch to the old version here. So they've updated the look to this too. If I go uh, over to here and I create a label now, and I'm just gonna call this example group here. So I'll call this example group and I'm going to hit OK on this one. Now you can see I have an example group where I can go back and edit it or delete it at any time or I can create more. But if I click in it, nothing's in it. So I have no uh, labels, uh, no contacts in there at that time. So to add some, if I go over back to my contacts and I hover over, I can click uh, under more actions here, click on it. You can see I could add Jane Doe. Now I have a check mark beside it to my example group. I click over and she's in it. So if I go back to my contacts and I'll just add a couple more. So I click example group, that one's in there. And I'm just gonna add one more. I know I only have four here for an example, example group. So I should have three in there. You can see the three shows up. I click on it and all three are in it. So now what does this do for me to speed it up? I'm gonna go back over to my Gmail here and I'm just gonna compose a message. So click on compose, and I'm gonna start typing example group, and you can see there's the example group with the names in it. So if I click on that, and I can send a message, and I'll just call test, and I can go ahead and hit send, and it will send to those three. So it's gonna save you some time if you know the groups. Uh, if, you, if there's some people that you're sending out often, create that group, maybe it's a family group, friend group, create it in contacts, and then it's gonna save you some time sending out those emails from Gmail, from this new Gmail. So I hope you like this tip tonight about the new Gmail. If you have, make sure you have, make sure you share it with a few other people. Hit that like button. Uh, and remember, I do these weekly tech tips, and if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.